If you're looking for pastries in West Roxbury, there's a new place to go on Center Street. The grand opening took place recently for Delectable Desires Pastry. This is the first storefront location for a wholesale and online business started in 2007. The owner opened the storefront with coaching and micro-lending from the program Samuel Adams Brewing the American Dream. We'd like to welcome the owner. Carlene O'Garro, uh, thank you very much for being with us, Carlene. Thank you for having me. We're talking about chef. You, you grew up uh, in Boston, right? Yes, in Mattapan. So how, how did you uh, start with the cooking? I was baking with my mom from a young age, and uh, she ended up getting me, both my parents actually got me an Easy Bake Oven because they didn't want me to use the big oven for safety purposes. And the passion just grew from there. I always exper experimented with, like, different food colorings. Um, I actually played with the alcohol, with the cakes. It was, it was fun, it was a good time. Well, uh, you've been working in wholesale business and online, so, so what kind of customers are you uh, used to handling? So for the wholesale, I actually have a contract with Whole Foods. So I'm in Whole Foods all the way from Maine all the way down to Rhode Island. Um, and I do a couple other small little things for our customers as well in the wholesale business. Uh, what made you decide to go from that kind of a business, uh, being that kind of a supplier mm -hmm. almost, to, to, to running a shop? Mm -hmm. Well, while I was doing wholesale, I was actually working on my techniques. Like, my love and passion is with cakes, but I didn't feel like it was good enough at the time to actually have a store. So for the last five, six, seven years, that's what I've been working on, my craft and my skills, trying to get it to the point where it almost looks fake. And that's why. Ex ex explain that word, where it almost looks fake. So my cakes are so clean and detailed that it doesn't look like a real cake at times. Um, people are like, um, is that a real cake or is that, you know, fake? And that's the reaction I get a lot of the times when I make cakes for people. Currently, speaking of uh, what uh, doesn't look quite real, uh, you've got what looks like a, a cake mannequin there. So explain that. So this cake is a replica, it's a dummy cake of a cake that I would make at my store. So this is my classic style, which is the quilted look. Um, a lot of people get this style when they want um, or have a wedding or a sweet 16, a nice clean classic look. Um, some of my other cakes are a little bit more detailed than this. I made a cake that looks like a real bottle, looked like glass, but it was all cake. I made another cake that looked like weights and um, a kettle ball and that was all cake as well. But our store is mainly specializing in custom designer cakes. Now, the other thing, of course, I mean, pe people want strange looking cakes, yes. exotic cakes, but um, what is it about a cake that's, that's good? Because I know what mm -hmm. I, I grew up, I would pig out in these things, mm -hmm. but nowadays, you know, oh, it's so heavy, mm -hmm. it's gooey. Mm -hmm. um, people want something different, mm -hmm. I think. So with my cakes at the bakery, what I do is I make everything from scratch. So there's only five, six ingredients inside. I make it by hand. So the mix itself is light. Um, I use my own buttercream, which is also light, and I sculpt it. So that's what makes it different, where it not only looks good, but it also tastes good as well. Explain that difference in taste because you say buttercream, yeah, that's maybe <laughs> high cholesterol, but there are other things out there that are high in mm -hmm. cholesterol, and mm -hmm. they don't taste as good. Mm -hmm. So the buttercream I make, it's with egg whites and a little bit of butter and a little bit of sugar. So it's light in texture, light in mouthfeel, and great in texture and taste. Now, Chris, the other thing is you're, you're picking a place to open up a business. And, uh, you know, this is a, a bit of a new frontier for West mm -hmm. Roxbury. I go back to the old days of Hanley's. You got cupcakes, you got brambles, mm -hmm. and... and, and yes. uh, uh, and nowadays, this, you know, decadent, delectable, I mean, uh, is there enough appetite for one more place with, with yes. upscale pastries? Yes, actually, the West Roxbury neighborhood, it's been so welcoming. Like, we did the whole construction, we did everything there, and everyone would come by and say, you know, when are you going to open and what are you going to have? And when we finally opened our doors, they came in and there, there was a line and people really wanted it. They wanted that fresh baked, we see you make it, we see you rolling the dough, and we see it in the, the display case, and now we want it. Now, I know there's, there's one thing, you, you can't really get it at Roach Brothers, you can't get it even at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. you, you walk in the door, mm -hmm. it smells like a bakery. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the real thing. Like, you walk in, it smells, it looks like a bakery. I did it where I had an open uh, kitchen concept, so you can actually see us in there making stuff. The kitchen is very open and clean, and, you know, it's inviting. You know, you, people want to be there, and it's... Great.
Now, part of what went into this also was a microloan mm -hmm. from the program that Sam Adams Beer runs. Uh, they started as the craft beer. You're going to craft pastries. Yes, craft uh, cakes. <laughs> so what did you pick up from that? Um, as far as what I learned from the Brewing the American Dream, um, just becoming a better business person. Like, I've been with the program for so long, and Jim Cook is very nurturing. The whole team they've seen me grow and develop into a better business person and it, it's really because of them. They have these speed coaching classes um, where you go in and you have specific questions and they have someone there to answer it for you and they're there to mentor. It's, it's phenomenal. Well, uh, we should just uh, give our viewers a couple of pointers about exactly where you are on Center Street and where they can still find you online. Sure, I'm located at 1755 Center Street in West Roxbury and um, they can find me online at www.delectabledesires.net. Right, thank you very much for being with us. Carly O'Gara from Delectable Desires Pastry. We'll have more news in just a moment.